We started these talks about uh, 14 years ago and uh, uh, about this location uh, and the county perhaps purchasing it from First Midwest. Now, this is the, one of the last puzzles for this site of downtown Joliet for our, our downtown urban campus, which we've been committed to for many years. And this does bring us forward. You know, we talk about uh, the county's commitment. You know, the county's been committed to Joliet and to all of Will County. And Minister our planning shows that. So this is the step, uh, next step forward for us to accomplish some of those plans. This is going to be hopefully the, the future, the future uh, of Will County as we continue to move forward and, and build and, and, uh, and provide the necessary county services uh, for our citizens. The future is only bright and we're hoping that as we transfer ownership of this building to the county that we will see in another 150 years that the commitment that the county has made to downtown Joliet will be just as strong then as it is today. This is a down payment, if you will, on our future collectively. Probably nobody here is, is, is more excited about today than I am uh, being a, a pretty big cheerleader for the potential new courthouse, which could be on this site, whether it'll be right where this building is, or, but it certainly will be in this footprint. So uh, this is a step of many. Uh, but a very necessary step. This is a big, uh, a, a big deal for the judicial branch, and uh, we can't be more excited uh, for, for this all to happen. This gives us three out of the four properties in this intersection, which we've talked about for many years as being part of our county urban campus. So this somewhat completes our campus here, at least what's available. Uh, allows us to go forward on what I feel are important public safety issues. When you have a disbursement of county facilities and you're not on the same campus, you don't have those efficiencies. Working close together, working in cooperation with each other on a campus type setting makes it more efficient, less costly for the public, and more effective. This is near and dear to my heart, not only as a county board member, as a constituent, but I'm also a local attorney in town. So I use these buildings weekly, daily basis, and it's very important. As an attorney and seeing the judges, seeing our constituents in these buildings, safety is a big issue. Not only for our judges, but with the bailiffs that work in there, the uh, sheriffs, it's, it's very important that our facilities are safe and are easy to use and there's good there's easy access for our constituents. Gaining this building allows us to move our sheriff's deputies out of the old Eagle building which has a number of issues with it in terms of heating, the air conditioning, general workspace, all of that and put them into a place that is safe, that is comfortable, that has quality air conditioning and heating and allows them to have the space they need to store evidence and also to do their day-to-day -day work. It also allows us to move people from the court annex building, which is just to the north of us here, move them into some of the floors here too. We are extremely excited about having this opportunity to move forward with this. These are really health and public safety issues that we do have to address, and we are moving forward. Here again, this is just another step in, in, in or another piece of that puzzle, uh, and hopefully we'll get the whole puzzle together in the next 10 years or so.